everyone welcome back to my channel I have finished my 30 days of list book which you have maybe seen if you watch and you're subscribed to me I made a video showing the first few pages I had completed in this and now it's all done it's nice and thick and I wanted to share it with you I'm hopefully going to split this up in two parts because I have I think 24 pages to show so I'm gonna go as quick as I can but if you watch my videos my quick is not quick so um, this isn't a part of the book either it's just to tell me where to stop for kind of halfway through and um, if you want to see the first part of the book which is all the way up to here um, I will link that video down below so you can check it out and I'm going to try and not read absolutely everything on the page just because I think it'll take too long to do that but um, yeah gonna go as quick as I can so the next one that I hadn't shown is this what's in my bag and I took a little picture of my bag and the contents um, on my phone and just printed it off on regular paper and then there's my list of what's in my bag the next one is actually favorite websites and blogs and um, I, this is actually a card I made like forever ago that when I just first started buying stuff for scrapbooking and I'm never going to send it because I think I can make a better card now. So I decided to use it in this as a little flip out. And I'll just give you a quick show of all my favorite um, blogs and websites. And now I do, I have way more than this. I, um, where did I put it? Blog Lovin' is a, Blog Lovin', sounds like Mick Lovin' from that movie, um, I can't remember, super bad. <laughs> Anyways, Blog Lovin' is a website and an app for iPhone as well, maybe Android, not sure. Um, but you can kind of put all the blogs you follow on one site and then when new posts come up, you can see them on that one site. So it's kind of a way to read all your blogs on one site, which is awesome. So that's that. And if you want, um maybe a video with my favorite like scrappy blogs and websites I definitely do that um, it's an idea if you'd be interested so that's that next one here is on my wish list and that's kind of hard to see and what I did is I made three different wish lists and I put them on tags and held them on with a bread so there's crafty things and some of these things I may have ordered <laughs> there's random things like clothes and stuff a haircut I have a bad habit of not getting haircuts and letting my hair grow for months and months on end my hair grows really quick and it grows really long <laughs> um, and this one Kenny is my boyfriend if you don't know he had a job interview and we're still waiting to hear back but it's looking good so I'm excited um, it might mean that we don't have to move too far from home um, and yeah just other random things uh, going to another another Michael Bublé concert. I love Michael Bublé and I know he has a new album out so that means more concerts to go to. So that's exciting. Next one, and I don't recommend putting washi tape on glitter because it just doesn't stick. Um, anyways, favorite movies and this probably looks really juvenile <laughs> if you look at my list. Finding Nemo, Elf, um, any Disney movie? Okay, come on, Michelle. Are you turning 26? But anyways, um, this is a little, um, what do you call it? It's like a fake badge or flare. Next one, um, weekly rituals. And I put this on a piece of vellum, which is kind of neat. You can see the background through it. And um, yeah, you can read that if you'd like. Do it yourselves. I do it yourselves. DIYs that I want to try. Um, some of these have been on my list for a while and they're on my Pinterest boards, <laughs> um, but I just haven't got to trying it yet. Next thing here is what I love about, and I chose spring. And this is that little um, Studio G stamp I have that normally has hello up there, but it didn't really turn out. I just did the love. So Warmer, re warmer weather, longer days, flip-flops, barbecue, leaving windows open, I love fresh air. So yeah, all of the above. Um, next thing, and this is on some shiny cardstock, is places I want to travel. 
And um, I've been very fortunate enough um, through family um, to have gone on quite a few trips in my lifetime, my short life so far. Um, so you can see I've been to these places and want to go again. I love to travel. I love going to new places. And there's some places in my own country like Alberta and British Columbia that I've never been to those provinces. So um, this list could go on and on, I put, which it really could. I love to travel. I just need some moolah to do it. These are little um, Martha Stewart um, stickers I got at Walmart. Love them. And some snap stickers. You'll see snap stuff all throughout this book. So the next one, this is the middle of the book, and it's favorite TV shows. And, oh, my God, there's so many, and it could go on and on and on and on. Um, honestly, I don't know how I watch TV shows and YouTube because I feel like I'm on YouTube all the time, but I do keep up with these shows. Well, most of them. Some of them are old and I watch reruns, like Full House was my favorite as a child, but I have the whole DVD set. Um, next one is favorite books and authors, and um, I love a lot of, like, this is like something I love for school and Roll Doll as well, and as a child I loved. Some of these are very, like, young adult books, but I read a lot of young adult novels because I just think they're fun and um, they're really easy reads for when you don't want anything um, too heavy and you just want to relax and read. So the next one is Road Trip Must Haves and um, you can read my little playlist there. <laughs> my playlist, my list, but a playlist is on there. And um, I use this one because it looks like a dotted line on a road. That's from one of my date stampers. And here I've reached the middle, my little Hello Kitty post-it. I love these. Um, Michael's, if you're looking for them. So it says, recipes I want to try. Chicken noodle soup from scratch, carrot cake, perfect my dad's recipe for chocolate chip cookies. I always, mine turn out flat and his are like thick and delicious. So I really need to perfect his recipe. I don't know what he does. There's something he's not telling me. But I'm a foodie because I love food. And these are, nothing in here is healthy by the way. When I make recipes it's like go all out. Make what you really want. <laughs> okay so I'll be back with part two so stay tuned. Hi Ben, what are you doing? My dog just came in the room. If you can hear heavy breathing, I swear it's not me. Okay. <laughs> My dog is whining. <laughs> I swear, I'm not breathing heavy or crying here, guys. 